Hi everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my tutorial channel. It's Daniel here and today I'm going to show you how to run the two sample t-test for two independent symbols using the calculator TIA4CE. So for the test, there are two types of question when you are given a symbol statistics and when you are given a data set. Either one, we are going to use a function to symbol t-test on the calculator. Before we walk into some specific problems, I want to introduce pulled and unpulled symbols. Because on the test, on the two symbol t-test, you will have two options, whether pulled or unpulled symbols. So two symbols are said to be pulled if sigma 1 is given to be equal to sigma 2. Otherwise, we said the two symbols are unpulled. So if this information is not mentioned in the question, we automatically take unpulled symbols on the calculator. So now look at the third type, given the symbol statistics. A test was made of x0, mu1 is equal to mu2, and x1, mu1 is not equal to mu2. The symbol means were 6 and 11. The symbol innovation were 3 and 5, and the symbol size were 10 and 20. So let's summarize the question. Here, x1 bar is 6, x2 bar is 11, and 1 is 10 into 20, x1 is 3, x2 is 5, and for alpha here is 0.05. Uh, here, even though the question didn't mention alpha, however, usually we take the scientific number 0.05 here. Um, if the question doesn't say anything about uh, doesn't say anything about the simcon level, the no hypothesis mu is equal to mu one is equal to mu two, and the alternate mu one is not equal to mu two. This is two tail test, right? And the question didn't say anything about uh, about uh, sigma 1 and sigma 2. So we are going to use unpooled symbol. And we are going to use a function to symbol t-test. So now let's look at my calculator. All right, so this is my calculator. And... Uh, in order to get the two symbol t test, we hit on stat and go to test and go down to two symbol t test at option number four. You see, at option number three, we have two symbol z test, right? Two symbol z test is used when um, sigma ones and sigma two is given, and when the symbol size of each of them is at least 30. See that? Or when the original population of a bow is normal, then we use two symbol z tests. However, the test is usually not applicable, so we usually focus on two symbol t tests. Uh, I'll, I, I'll make a video of two symbol z tests uh, sometime later, but today we will work on two symbol t tests. So I'm hitting number four, hit enter. So here there are two options, data or stat. Let's go for stats. All right, for stat, x1 bar is 6, and then s1 is 3, n1 is the, same, the first symbol size, which is um, 10. See that? x2 bar is 11, and then 5, and then 20. Here we have the two two tailed, right? The tail two tail. Now you see what we have two options, pulled or unpulled, right? Uh, here we're not given sigma one is equal to sigma two, so we choose unpulled. That means option no. That means not pulled. You see that? So I choose no, and then hit calculate. So this is the result. You see the p-value here is 0 0.00206878, which is less than 0 0.05. So we reject the no hypothesis. You see it. All right, so before we 
uh, move on for the next problem. I want to give a try. Suppose that we are given sigma is equal to sigma 2 and we want to run the two simple t tests. So let's go and test that again. Go to test. Go to option number 4 and hit enter. So here we have stat here. We have x1 bar is 6, s1 is 3, n1 is 10, 11, uh, x2 is 11, x2 is 5, n2 is 20, is uh, two-sided. And here let's choose yes instead of no. Okay, We are going to choose yes instead of no. And then we hit enter. So we see that the p-value is slightly different. You see that the last p-value is, is smaller than this p, uh, this p-value. However, you see, usually it doesn't affect the decision much. Like, you see, either pulled or unpulled uh, might give you almost the same decision. You see that? So that is the foot type. See that? Alright, so that was the first type. Now we look at the second type when we are given the data set. Recovering from surgery, a new surgical treatment was compared with a standard treatment. Seven subjects received the new treatment, while seven others, the controls, received the standard treatment. The recovery times in days are given below. Can you conclude that the mean recovery time for those receiving the new treatment is less than the mean for those receiving the standard treatment using alpha 0.05 level? Here, alpha is 5%. The no hypothesis is mu1 is equal to mu2. That means the new treatment is not less than the, uh, the mean of the new treatment is not less than the mean of the standard treatment and the uh, alternate the mean of the new treatment is less than the mean of the new uh, of the standard treatment and we are going to use two simple t-tests and again here we we don't have any information about sigma 1 and sigma 2 so we are going to use unpooled symbol all right so now let's look at my calculator Alright, so now for the second types, we are going to enter the data set before we run the test. So I'm going to hit on stat, go to edit. Here in list L1, I have a couple of numbers, so I'm going to clear the list. So hit stat, option 4 to clear list. Second L1, comma, second, actually there is nothing in L2. Uh, I clear list. And then hit that again. Now we are going to enter um, the data set into L1 and L2. Make sure it's in the, the order. Here I make uh, treatment to be L1 and control to be L2. So I'm going to make troll and then 13 and then 15 and then 19 and 21. 24 and then for L2 L2 let me see if I miss any number 12, 13, 15, 19 oh it should be 20 and then 21 and then 24 this is 20 and then 21 and then 24 L2 we got 18 23 24, 30, 32, 35, 39, and hit that, and go to two simple t-tests, then choose data set, alright, this time we choose data set, the list one is L1, the two L2 frequency one and one. Now for the alternate hypothesis, we have mu one less than mu two, so it should be the middle option. You see that? 
and here the question didn't indicate anything about sigma 1 and sigma 2 so we choose no for the port that means it's not port it's unport and then calculate and calculate right so this is the result we have the p-value is 0 0.003615 which is less than 0.05 so we reject the no hypothesis you see that and um, now I'm going to correct the question assume that we do know sigma 1 is equal to sigma 2 uh, so we are going to switch the question to pool symbols to see what is the difference so I go back to two simple t-tests and choose data set again. Here L1 is still in this one, L2 is still in this two frequency. We still keep it uh, one and then one. The alternate hypothesis is the same. However, for port, we are going to uh, we are going to choose yes instead of no, and then we calculate it. So here we see the p-value is slightly different, right? The last p value was 0 0.0036 something, and this is 0 0.0027 something. It's slightly different, you see that? Uh, however, in practice, we usually can just use unpooled because sometimes we can assume that sigma 1 is equal to sigma 2 is not given. So uh, that's it how you run the two sample t tests on calculator TIA 4CE. Alright, so that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching my video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.